Hi, this is Nick at Only Fabs, and today's video is about old him. I've been brewing a bit with him, and um, it uh, resonates with me. Why? Because I like that tempo, uh, mid-rangey feel that uh, old him brings to the table. I like Guardian, but what I mostly like was smacking with those big hitters each and every turn. Well, um, I always use a standard framework. Uh, that's what you guys know me for, if you know me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's choose your hero, getting started, and then we use the patented wheel technique. Now, how does it go? Old him, whatever. How do we get started? What's my game plan in how to beat my opponent? And how do I achieve this? And what are the deck's constraints? constraints so some of these questions might look really similar but um maybe it's because it's an answer with uh it's a question that has two types of answers so i want to keep them from playing the game how do i achieve this with discard and frost effects so i'm trying to essentially lock them out of playing flesh and blood and i want to play flesh and blood and the deck constraint is that I need to have a high blue count because of everything is being uh, everything is really expensive in uh, in Guardian, and I need a medium uh, ice count. And I'll get back to that in a bit. So the wheel technique that I <laughs> is what's my game plan? How do I execute it? What's the equipment and what's the core? I add a percentage here because it's something that always comes up, but um, I never had to focus on. And again. The framework is there for me to keep focus while building a deck. And what's the side? It's totally too early to tell what's the side and what's not. But hey, well, um, it's in there so you, especially for classic constructed, you can uh, can keep thinking about it. Also, I'm talking blitz because that's the testing that I did with all them. Because you know I'm a fish fry baby, right? Um, yeah. So my game plan is. How do I achieve my game plan? Well, I'm trying to disrupt my opponent. How does it look? Uh, how does my hand pitch? Um, thump and pommel is a natural combination. It costs six in total. So that's four card, right? Two blue pitches and, and thump and pommel. I'm set. I'm, I don't need to have these ridiculous uh, five to six card uh, hands with a setup of three different types of cards. No, it's it, I can play those rainbow, I can build full blue cards. So this isn't anything crazy that I want to achieve. And what's the what does my deck do in an off turn? Uh, can I achieve anything with one or two cards? And this is something that Guardian Excel said, but um, it's really interesting that Winter's Will with a blue uh, ice card um, is actually a threatening on hit for off turn at least in my perspective because okay i only swing four four maybe my opponent takes it but then he needs to uh calculate an additional uh, resource for his first action that turn or maybe he he can't save that and now he needs to block with two equipments it it, it puts uh pressure with regarding to your opponent needing to make decisions which allows him to make mistakes now uh, the build around comments, I already emphasized this. My thought on the deck was I'm going to play Rainbow Pommel, I'm going to play Rainbow Thump, and I'll see um, where it goes from there, right? It it's just starts somewhere. Uh, this is something that's really disruptive. Um, I can uh, knock cards out of my opponent's hand, um, even two, if... Uh, if it just connects. So that's really interesting, right? It's just like a Dorintia mind game where he has to overblock uh, just because he m needs to be afraid of the pommel, right? So uh, the build around Majestic for me and this winter and Spinal Crush because you also, that's what I want to achieve, right? I need to disrupt him, but in the end, I also need to, to kill him. And how do I kill him with these big, fearless crush effects? Um, and this winter. I don't think you need to fuse it, at least in this deck, in Blitz. Um, it's it's just an 8 attack which which hampers them from activating abilities and then having to calculate uh, their next action with additional resources due to Frostbite. Winter's Will is actually the true build around Majestic for this deck just because I'm, I'm putting constraint on the type of cards that I need to play, right? I need to play those blue Ice Pitch cards. Uh, blue cards to pitch to Winterwell to uh, have its effect. Um, and 
a true build around majestic is awakenings of course i can drop in life total and play this one and uh, have a sufficient deficit in life total that i'll play my next guardian attack for free so i should assume i can use the rampart uh, with the blue pitch and have two remaining and then block with the other two cards play awakening and uh, put some pressure on my opponent uh, through this course now at the moment i'm not even uh, considering the the earth fuse except for the uh, pulse of the eisen loft um just because it's also pretty good uh, good defense reaction to have so uh the equipment i played the arcanite skull cap uh tectonic plating and uh, crater fist and iron leggings in blitz of i'm pretty positive that crown of seeds and uh, heart of ice will be still in it now i'm really curious if iron will still be a top dog and i've mostly tested against newer players or the newer heroes um and lexi does a ton of damage so having that fridge in there is is really strong so that's why i opted for the for the arcanite skull cap also actually yes i'm playing iron world leggings and where they are my guardian boots man james white come on um but the true equipment that i think you should play guardian for is that ram's hat it's oh dang is it good um it's so stupid why it's good but especially with crown of seeds or arcane barrier it's you use the additional pitch anyway so yeah it, it just felt strong uh, especially with awakenings you can pitch a, a red card so you can pitch a mangle to this if you if you have spinal crush and a mangle in hand and you, you pitching one of those uh, for for the rampart and you have the option to awakening it back from your deck uh, that's a win-win situation um, from from my perspective so it it it's a good card it's a reason to play all them it's a a reason to play guardian in general bravo i think will mostly go with anatos and terra sunder but uh, i i love it so I heard something um what's the core the big hitters so we're talking about Anthus winter spinal cross and terror sunder terror sunder i don't know if it's strong in all them but it's a good enough card to include just because it's blue and it uh blocks for three um uh, winter's will it's better with uh, anatos right but um Winter's Will being tier sundered, uh, it demands blockage. Uh, so you're talking about equipment and a card uh, from hand. Um, and it's not just a uh, sink below that can, can stop it. Yeah. Winter's Will can be stopped by sink below, of course. But I don't know. It still eats a card from, from their hand. So I understand that that argument against uh, Winter's Will or it being a, a weak on hit effect because it can be stopped by the red uh, defense reactions, but still it, it it's eating a card from their hand. Um, so the percentages, that's something that I added from uh, from the wheel technique. And here, it, this one matches really good together, right? So I need to have 50% uh, of, of my deck needs to be about blue cards because remember I have Thump plus Pommel uh and so i need two blue cards so i want to have approximately two blue cards in uh, each and every hand just so i can push uh, through my my own game plan and if about 25 percent is ice i will have one ice card in uh, in in my four card hand which i can use to pitch to uh, winterville when i'm going to take that off turn so blizzard is nice channel uh, I liked it. Um, Lexi plays narrow. I, uh, I I blizzard it, and then their uh, their moth is screwed up for for the rest of the turn because they need to pitch an additional two. And they well, are they pitch starved? Not in three of kind turn, but that's another beast altogether. And at least it forces them to not have two resources available for uh, loading with full turn, shooting a one cost arrow. So that's 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 preserving life total uh, there. Uh, Icequake is in there just to so you can get a late game thump up 
uh, or in the late game you can thump up to dominate so it's just there to push through damage most of the time it's just being there to pitch to uh, as, as a blue card um showing up it's way too early to tell i don't even know what the good matchups are or the bad matchups i haven't played that much it's just i think it's a cool uh play style um the performance for me truly went as well i was uh, i was liking the card now if flag flag becomes a thing maybe heart of ice should be required and then you're talking about pitch four uh let's just hope that flick flack is pushed out of the meta by i don't know lexi who knows it's it's pretty early to tell uh you need to do a lot of uh, testing and you need to have uh, all different types of text and tales of aria uh, heroes are really constraining on the, on the deck building uh for all them it works out because of the 50 blue uh 25 ice and i'm i'm just thinking okay all the ice cards i draw i want to at least be able to pitch with the world so that's an easy thing to uh, wrap your head around but i liked playing it uh deck definitely needs fine tuning it's uh, a pile i didn't even put command and conquer in it um i play snow under just because it's a three attack or uh, a three cost uh, big attack um are there better options most likely is there a better list most likely is discard all the him uh tempo oriented good yeah i liked it it's it's strong uh the deck needs refining but it has merit so i'm pushing it forward uh, not like with lightning lexi where uh lightning briar where some early deck lists were like oof uh all and everything feels super awkward so be gracious in defeat and humble in victory Go start building your version of your favorite hero to match your local meta and uh, a local player put it best. Uh, one guy asked, should I play Guardian or should I, uh, should I play Bravo or, or should I play Oldim? And he couldn't decide. And that guy, Terence, asked him, but what do you like to play?